Hey guys, it's Dee, and this is the reading for Taurus for January of 2021. Uh, this is your first time to my channel. I want to say welcome. I am Danielle, and I am the expert in healing after toxic relationships. And in this reading, you're going to get the message from Spirit that they want you to hear, as well as the energy healing. So you want to stick around for that, and I do pull some more cards throughout that energy healing, and I'll explain that to you a little bit later. I am throwing a, I'm like throwing a party. I am having a three-day challenge. It is going to be a party. Um, three days to conquer your self-confidence. So if you are ready to really kind of stand in your power and get yourself um, really confident to accept and love who you are, you can join me. We start January 11th. That is in the description box and the comments below. All right, let's see what is going on. And if you haven't already, just make sure you hit the subscribe button um, so that you can get and the little bell notification so you can get notified when I do have new videos and I do come live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with different um, topics. Okay, so we've got the moon card as the overall energy. So this month for you, it's really about listening to your intuition. It's about listening to... Um, that guidance, that little pull, that little nudge that you're getting, they're showing me that a lot of you um, are focused on other things, so it's hard for you to feel it, see it, hear it, okay? So make sure that you're quieting your mind a little bit. This is also the moon card, so this is about your shadows too. So this is about maybe some of the childhood issues. I do have my 21 days um, to opening your psychic abilities. That is going to be starting February 1st. So that could be something around there where I teach in there that, you know, if you have a lot of stuff that you are still holding on to and your ego and the thoughts in your head are just really overwhelming, it's hard for you to listen to your intuition or, or get the guidance from a, a more um, divine source. And that could be anybody for you, God, it could be, you know, whatever it is. So just really pay attention to that this month about letting go of those thoughts that are keeping you away from listening to that intuition and hearing it, okay? We've got the Five of Swords, uh, we've got the Sun card, we've got the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So definitely some of you here are letting go of a relationship, I would say. The Nine of Pentacles for me is my single card. So definitely you want better, you're seeking better. Uh, that word is coming to me, seeking. It's like you are looking to get out maybe of some places because you've been stabbed in the back people are just like walking away from you let them go let them go because this sun this is the healing card this is about you this is also a leo card so you might be dealing with a leo but this is also the healing card so the sun will shine is what i'm hearing so don't let people um keep you in a situation that you don't want to be in just because you want someone around is what I'm getting, okay? So heal yourself is really important. So definitely stay tuned for the energy healing in this reading, okay? We've got the King of Pentacles. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. So this is about money. This is about abundance. And they're making me feel like with whatever you're stabbed in the back here, if you stick around with this, this is not what you're bringing into your life because you're... Okay, so this is the message that I'm getting. The Sun card is the... It is the thing that happens. It is the tower moment. I'm surprised we don't have the tower, but we got more cards to pull, so it might show up. But the tower is like where things are falling apart, but it's because the sun is going to shine again. It's so that everything falls down so that you start building from scratch and you build it back stronger. And that's the message that I'm getting here for you. So it's time to see the light again. It's time to uh, reflect on everything that's happened, how you've been stabbed in the back, maybe some of the shadows that you have to deal with. Um, but because that sun is going to shine again and it's coming for you, like you're not going to have that choice whether to heal or not. You're going to have to go on that healing journey. So if you've been resisting it, <laughs> it is time. It is time because this is your future here with the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles being secure in yourself, definitely join me for my challenge here to conquer the confidence because the nine of pentacles is about being independent, being by yourself and being happy that way. Then when you're at that point, then you start to bring in love because you're not willing to settle because you're lonely, because you're not lonely, because you love your life. And that's where I'm getting here. Okay. We've got the seven of cups. 
we've got the king of wands we've got the world and we've got the queen of wands so this is beautiful energy but in order to get here you've got to go through this and as much as you might not want to go through this you're already doing it so you might as well get on the other side of it and lighten up um and not like lighten up in your attitude but like light up right like shift your vibration up to the light We've got the seven of cups. So there's many chances, many opportunities. So especially if this is a relationship and take how this resonates in any way, this could be work. Um, again, what resonates, leave what doesn't. But with the seven of cups, like there's many opportunities. So you might be blinded by that because you're only focusing on the person or thing that has keep stabbing you in the back because you always got to watch your back. So if you're always watching your back, you can't look to see what else is out there because you're constantly watching and protecting yourself but there's many opportunities out there so if that's one of the thoughts in your head that oh no one else will love me or i can't get this i will never get, find another job especially in this economy like let those thoughts go because there are opportunities out there and you've got the king of wands which you know he gets what he wants he goes after what he wants and he gets it you've got the world and you've got the queen of wands so there's even the king and the queen here like a better opportunity in a relationship for you as well so realize that you know you're holding yourself hostage here because you, you might think that there's nothing better out there or that nobody will and again this is the confidence here and the self-worth and the self-esteem and the self-love that nobody else is going to want you and that's absolutely not true absolutely not true and we're going to shift that perspective that it's not that nobody will want you it's like now you're finding the person that you want and it's a big difference there okay all right, let's go ahead and these are my four agreement cards, which I absolutely love. So let's see what message they have for you this month. It says, always do your best. It says, do your best because you want to. And it says, you do your best when you are enjoying the action or doing it in a way that will not have negative repercussions for you. You do your best because you want to do it, not because you have to do it. Not because you are trying to please the judge and not because you are trying to please other people. So do your best because you want to do your best. Don't do things that you don't want to do because this is how you, you know, get stabbed in the back here. You do something because somebody else wants you to do it, but then they don't say thank you or they don't give you any kind of response that you're looking for. Then you get mad and upset and it's like a, it's like a downward spiral there. All right, so do things. It says you do your best when you're enjoying the action or doing it in a way that will not have negative repercussions for you. You do your best because you want to do it, not because you have to do it. All right, and what question of the month do you need to hear? Let's see, what do you need to ask yourself this month? All right, the question is, how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? And it says, growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. Today's soul action. Look at yourself with a grace filter. You are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill in that hole with your soul's truth that you are infinite, you are loved, and you are already there. And I love that. And this, you know, I can prove this so much because the, the women that come through my From Pain to Power mentorship, they heal, they heal their children. And we see it time and time again. So you're not only healing yourself when you heal, you're healing all the people around you. And when they heal, they're healing all the people around them. So it is a cycle and it is a... um. Uh, I can't think of the word, but it spreads. So you're not only healing yourself here with the sun card, you're healing others as well. And that's really important to remember. All right. So let's go into this with a little bit of healing here for the sun. We're going to kind of remove the energy around the situation that um, is stabbed in the back. So whatever that is for you, just bring that to the surface right now. Any shadows, which means like any darkness in your past that you think you have to go back to in order to heal, to let go of, like just bring those things to the surface right now. And we're going to do a little energy healing with that. All right. I will pull some more cards throughout. So stick with me for those messages um, after. If you've never done this with me before 
all you are going to do is just close your eyes. You're going to listen to some music and I am going to connect the divine energy with your energy to release any blockages or trapped emotions here around the situations that we just discussed. Okay, so go ahead and get comfortable and close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And let it out. Okay, whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out and take another deep breath in. You can open your eyes and then go ahead and let it out. So your message is very clear here. You've got the 10 of swords. Okay. So again, something is completely done here. It says healing and second chance. So again, healing. You have to heal. It's so important. You have to release the energy. And even though you've been to therapy or you talked about things or whatever, if you haven't worked on your energy, that is, if you haven't done what we just did a lot into specific things, that is what you're missing. So if you are wondering like why you can't move on, why you can't move forward, it is because of the energy here. You also have the Ace of Coins and also the... Um, five of coins. So this is about, you might think that you don't have enough money to do, but it's about formulating a plan and taking your power back here with the six of wands. This is budget lessons and this is new career moves. So it might be time to get a new job. It might be time to just get yourself out there, but also learn how to um, use money because I know I work with a lot of women who can't get out of their relationship because they're financially dependent on somebody else. 
And by the way, that is not codependency. Codependency is about seeking that validation or love. You need it from somebody else because you don't have it within. But this right here is saying that you might be financially dependent on somebody else. So therefore, that is your reason for not being able to let go of the people that have st stabbed you in the back. But now it's time to stop making excuses, to heal yourself, and to take your power back and start making the shifts and changes and formulating the plan for you to get out. All right, so very important message that they want to share with you there. All right, so go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you liked the energy healing. And if this resonates with you, just write me in the comments. Let me know. Um, and if you want to join me for that three-day challenge to conquer your confidence, get the confidence to leave, get the confidence to move on, get the confidence to get a new job, um, definitely join me on January 11th. It is happening in a private Facebook group. So make sure you hit the link and subscribe. And then also make sure you check your email so that you get the link to the private Facebook group. Okay. So much love to all of you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to this channel and I will see you guys soon. Much love. Bye-bye.